Running an agency is basically putting out fires, client expectations, deadlines, revisions, but the worst kind of fire, when a client calls you on a Saturday at 11 p.m. and tells you that their website is down. And even though you know that it's not your fault, you're gonna jump in it and you're gonna do it. But remember, you are not the villain. Your hosting probably is at fault. And especially if you're an agency, this is very focused on agency use cases, yeah, where clients keep telling Telling you the site is slow, they lost sales because the site is slow and people keep jumping off. Also, they're asking, especially if they pay you a maintenance fee every month, what's going on? What's the problem? Why are things not working as they should? And we're going to have a look at how you can fix it if you want to join Cloudly. So first of all, you cannot have a hosting, especially if you're offering hosting services to your client, you cannot have a hosting that is going to simply collapse if someone breathes next to it. And if you chip it out, you know how it is. You pay double or more if you buy something cheap, right? We have to change our mentality here, especially if you are an agency or you're thinking of moving from a freelance business to agency and you're thinking of scaling and this is where Clubways comes in. Let's have a look. All right. So I will have a link in the description below to uh, this site, to the landing page of Cloudways. And probably at the time of filming of this video and the release, there will be some, be some offers for you for Black Friday. So keep an eye on that. So let's just have a quick look at their pricing. So if you go, click on pricing, obviously it will take you to pricing. So uh, you can see here that you can choose between or select between different types of cloud providers and the most common, and that's what I use mostly, it's the, the digital ocean. And if you want to find out more about each cloud provider, you can hover over this eye icon and you can simply be more informed. If you go to Vulture, the pricing changes slightly. You can have a look here and uh, play around to see uh, what works best for you. So you can also view uh, the Vulture data centers here if you cho are choosing Vulture and DigitalOcean and AWS so you can make a more informed decision. So maybe let's just have a look at DigitalOcean data centers. And as you can see, they have them all across the world. If you are focused on the US, your data, you have three data centers there. Europe as well, you have two, then you have UK, Singapore, Sydney, Toronto, Bang Bangalore, and so you are well covered. And then when it comes to the the, cell, uh, the server type, you can select between basic general purpose and CPU optimized. Again, if you want to find out more about each of these types of servers, you can hover over the eye icon and you will be able to read a bit more. So then we are here at the plans, okay? You can toggle between the standards and the premium. By default, it's set to premium, but if, if you turn the slider to standard, you will see that the price changes slightly, okay? Not only the price, but everything else that is included in the set plan. So I'm gonna leave it at standard. Yeah, let's say you just want to start as an agency and you don't know if Cloudways is good for you or, you know. So this is what you can do. You can select micro, small, medium, or large. It, as you can see, micro is suitable for personal websites and simple blogs. Yeah, so this is very dependent on what kind of agency you're running, but you can read here a little bit about what you can get. And also you can start for free. This is a very important because if you're not sure if Cloudways is for you, you can simply start for free and see if you like it. So if you go to start for free, click on this button. Yeah, it will take you to create your account here, sign up and all the good stuff. Since I already have an account, I'm not going to do that, but know that obviously that's how you do it. <laughs> As you can see here, we have Cloudways Flexible, but if you click on Cloudways Autonomous, we're getting different pricing plans here. So again, as I said, this is dependent on what you are going for as an agency. If you're a smaller agency, maybe Cloudways Flexible is for you. And as you grow, you can move on to Cloudways Autonomous. If you're bigger, again, this goes to, you know, you can choose Cloudways Autonomous, of course. And it says here, um, what this would work for dynamic high traffic e-com and LMS sites. Keep that in mind. 
right? So what's included in this uh, flexible uh, plan, which is for free, and you can register without even having your credit card on file. <laughs> so the, the trial is for three days, okay? Free migration, one click, three SSL, vertical scaling, etc., etc. You can read yourself here. Then what is also included, and this is fantastic because not, I mean, these days, <laughs> It seems like customer support has gone down the drain, out of the window, nobody cares. They have 24-7 support and they have expert engineers. They know the product and they can help you right away. And this is something that will differentiate a lot of products in the future because not many are offering this kind of service anymore. But yeah, we'll see what will happen in the future, right? And you can see here that you have different, different features included in every plan including Cloudflare Enterprise CDN, okay, which is, I mean, all, all, everything that is included is top notch. And you can also opt for optional add-ons that will supercharge all your website and you can choose them uh, in your account. So if you have also any questions, you can contact their experts, watch a demo and so on and so forth. And then you have, um, a comparison uh, between the Cloudways and other uh, types of hosting providers uh, and you can see the benefits of Cloudways and others. Again, you can simply um, get on Cloudways to test it because you get three days for free. So let me just log in and I will show you quickly how easy it is to simply create a server and just install WordPress and take it from there. It's super, super easy. All right. So I am all in my backend. This is the dashboard. This is what you will see in your dashboard. Yeah. And you see, I have already two servers. Let's go to add an application. I will add another server so you can see how this works. So I'm going to select WordPress because we're working with WordPress. I'm going to call it studio server name studio as well. And I'm going to keep it on this project. We can create the project and then create our server. But for this demonstration. We just keep it like this. And I'm going to stick with digital, digital ocean and I'm going to go down to two gigabyte or maybe one recommended is two, especially so if it's a production website, I will keep it to one because it's not in my case. Let's select Frankfurt and you will see right away how much you will pay per hour and monthly. And I'm going to uh, launch. Yeah. So if you select two gigab gigabyte, you will see that this will increase. Okay. So I'm going to keep it at one. So select additional services for your application. Choose from a range of power plugins on me send. I don't want to add on it. I'm going to skip this. And um, now my server is going to be created. It's going to take seven minutes. All right. So our application has been created. I'm just going to show you how you can also add team members because now you're an agency and you want to make sure that everything goes smoothly. So you don't have to be all hands on deck yourself. You have team members now. You can add someone here that can help when you're not available. So the way you do it, you go right. Do you see this icon of two people? And it says teams if you hover over it. So I'm going to click and as simple as that, you just add the details of the person that you want to add as a team member, their email, let's say, yeah, the name, it's me, the select the job uh, description, yeah, DevOps, let's say, or whatever, uh, status active, or if you leave this individual is not part of the team anymore, you can select not active. Okay. You can give global permissions for billing access support as well and console access flexible and client billing and reporting. So this is up to you, whatever you want to, to do. And I'm going to just say support access and flexible. Okay. Then uh, under flexible, you have uh, the option to select full access, limited access. And you will see here, this will allow the access to cloud is flexible. Levels will all will be able to manage the allowed servers and apps only. So you could do that. It's up to you. I will go with limited access and then you have to select add server and you can give them access to the server that you want only. So I'm going to give them access to the server that we have to create it now. Manage projects. Yeah, but we don't want that because we don't want them to manage any projects just this one and add-ons. This will allow team members to control global add-ons section. I'm going to skip that and I'm going to add the member. So it seems like I'm using this email. Of course, this is my email. So I'm going to say contact 
All right. And it's adding the Mendler. Now I probably received an email. I have to check my email account and I have access to do all the things that I was given access to do. So how cool is that? Yeah, you can also delete the team member from here if you don't want them to be part of your team. Uh, you can see here servers allowed to this member and uh, applications allowed to, to this member. And because it's active, it has this green dot here. And if you want to deactivate this uh, member, basically you can also delete it, but you can also set the status to not active and then go all the way down, update. And of course you can also change all this access allowances and as you can see the access has changed uh i don't have access anymore i'm not active as a member i'm telling you this is super easy and it's really a no-brainer to try it test it out test cloudways see if you like it uh see if it has what you need by now you should know because you're an agency and all the information is available there i will have a link to their blog post to everything that you need to inform yourself better if you do have any questions please do let me know in the comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible see you next time